Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FECO and SICS training. This is a very soft cataract. Let us see management of this case. This is a totally unedited recording. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is phenocaine. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Phenocaine contains gylocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. Then the entire chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now, capsular excess. Capsular excess is done with the help of a iterator forceps. The capsular tag is raised by the tip of the iterator. It is held and guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size axis of about 5.5 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done with BSS and this 27 gauze cannula. The nucleus is mobilized. And now I am going to use a pre chopper to divide this nucleus. Visco first, then the pre chopper in right hand and sustainer in the left and here it goes. The nucleus is divided into two heminuclei, rotated, one heminucleus divided into two halves, rotated again, the other heminucleus is divided into two fragments. Thus we have four fragments in a very short time. Such soft cataracts, if we try to hold with vacuum, whatever lens matter is in front, it is just eaten up. We cannot hold the nuclear mass. So, chopping this kind of cataract is difficult. And if we want to do a small resistance cases with premium eyewear, then it becomes a challenge. Pre chopper solves these problems. You can make a 5 millimeter excess. Divide the nucleus within the bag and pick up each nuclear piece one by one and emulsify like this. The nucleus has been already divided into four fragments. One by one the pieces are being picked up and eaten up. Ultrasonic energy used is very minimal. In this case only 40 percent ultrasonic energy was used. And in a very short time, we have managed the nucleus. The tip length of the pre chopper is 1.7 millimeter, tip length of the sustainer is 1.5 millimeter, and it does not cause any stress on the posterior capsule, it does not even touch the posterior capsule. So, this is a very soft instrument. This pre chopper has been designed by Dr. Sohail Irfan Khan from Nandit, Maharashtra. I have no financial interest in the product, but I find this instrument very useful in soft cataracts. Dr. Sohail uses this for all kinds of cataracts. I use these only for soft cataracts because in harder cataracts I can easily hold the nuclear mass and chop it. I am using irrigation aspiration for sub incisional cortex. When we lift up the anterior wall of the main wound, the anterior chamber is nicely maintained and we can remove the sub incisional cortex. We do not need another side port to use the bimanual. 
most of the cortex has been removed by Sipco, Simco cannula. Only the sub incisional cortex has been e uh, removed by, by manual. And this is the Hoya Nanex intraocular lens. It's a beautiful delivery system. Hydro implantation can be done because this is a straight push delivery system. This is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by stroma hydration. Stroma is hydrated by BSS. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The lens has not yet unfolded completely. Almost 30 seconds it has been inside the bag. Still it is not totally unfolded. Some concavity of the anterior surface is still there. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.